Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you're brand new, I am so excited that you decided to join me here today for another speed build. And we are again building with the new expansion pack, Horse Ranch, which means that we are building in Chestnut Ridge, the new world that shipped with this pack. And I wanted to build a converted barn, all right? There are barns all over this world. We've got horses. You need a barn. You need some stables. So I decided to build a barn, and I was really, really excited to do this because I was looking at a ton of inspiration pictures over on Pinterest, and I've just, I've learned so much, all right? So converted barns aren't just called converted barns, all right? They can be called barn dominiums. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know this uh, and I was just completely shook up to my core and I was also really excited. So I was looking at a ton of barn dominiums as inspiration for this build. And what I wanted to do is I wanted the bottom floor to be stables. I wanted it to be active stables for horses because obviously we got horses with this pack and I thought that would be a great idea. So I tried to keep the downstairs, the very first floor, stables i think there's like a little place to make your own nectar and stuff like it's a pretty big space i think there's two stables as well now i will say disclaimer because i already saved the lot and uploaded it to the gallery at this time um i did have to add two doors onto the side where the stables are. And I don't know if this was just because i had like certain doors locked or gates locked or something. i i tried to like check it out but nothing was locked so I don't really know what the problem was I'm unsure if horses can go through particular gates because I did play test this as thoroughly as I as I could I had a sim here and they had a horse and essentially the horse couldn't go through the gate into the stable from the inside of the build like downstairs they also seemed to really not want to go through this big open barn door which was confusing to me so over here off to the left hand side where I'm contemplating putting big modern windows. Um, that actually is where the stables are. And I did have to put two doors, one to each stable on that side. So the horse could actually go into the horse bed in the stable. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it's it's definitely been challenging, I think, to play test certain things just because you can't control the horses. So you really have to try to get creative in testing out certain like routing things for horses and stuff like that in the game because they are non-playable similar to cats and dogs which is completely fine just in general to me but it does make it difficult to play test certain things so i hope that made sense and i hope you like this build you can see it's kind of coming together here on the exterior and i also want to say that this very much so resembles a build i want to say it was by chrissy i believe that she had built the it's not a saloon Oh, what's it called? Like the rusted horseshoe or something? I think it's the nightclub technically in this new world. And it very much resembles this, which was actually co coincidental because all of the inspiration pictures I looked at on Pinterest resembled this. <laughs> and it was just kind of funny because I, after I built this, I started playing around more, visiting all of the lots in the world. And I was like, oh, no kidding. I'm like, this looks super similar. So Chrissy, great minds. I'll just go with that, with that. Your build was phenomenal. Um, and I was kind of honored to have built something similar at that point. Anyway, I love this barn too, because you've got the stables off to the left. And then over here, there's like this overhang in this little bricked area. And that ends up being like just an outdoor eating area, which I really loved. Now this, because the first level is stables, there is essentially a studio apartment above on the second story of this barn. The studio apartment, I absolutely adore. I initially wanted to kind of divvy it up, make it like a two bedroom thing, kind of go with the family home vibe, but it was not gonna work with how awkward the second story was at all. And I wasn't able to even place a staircase in this build. It was a ladder. So there was only a ladder. Therefore, this is not the ideal build for a family that has like an infant, a baby, a toddler, nothing like that. Not ideal if you want to have a cat or a dog, unless you're okay with them basically being downstairs in the stable with the horses and everything and kind of being more of like an outdoorsy animal, which again, it's the Sims. I, I would be okay with that. But um, yeah, I figured I'd mention that since we're kind of looking at what the ideal setup would be for this. So studio apartment upstairs, stables downstairs. You can see we have tons of room here and this is where I start trying to plan out the stables. Now, <laughs> the stables are even, but there is this one tile, 
I don't even know what to describe this as. There's just like this one tile space that wouldn't make these even. So I did something a little bit funky. So I put two hay beds in here so you could have two horses. But then I essentially split this area and made it, I made like little nooks for the water trough and the feeders. I don't know, it works. <laughs> it works just fine. Um, I did, of course, like I said, play test this and I had horses that were able to reach the water trough and the feeders. So it wasn't like an issue with routing or anything, but it just looks kind of funky. I tried to make it look more natural, but you can of course be the judge of that. Uh, it's, you know, I think it looked fine. It's best I could do. Maybe you could do better, but I just wanted it to be somewhat symmetrical. I wanted these gates and the columns and everything that I use to be pretty much centered in these stables. And this was the way for me to do it with how I ended up planning the exterior. So it worked out great. I really liked the result and I love, let me just mention, I didn't even say this when we were on the exterior, but I love the color scheme. I always gravitate towards wood tones, like brown wood tones. And I love the honey woods as well. I really wanted to use the honey woods. I'm not a huge fan of like the pastel wood swatches that we got with a lot of these objects. That's just me, it's a preference thing. I think they look great, but I just don't really like them that much. And so I was like, what can I do here? I was originally going for dark woods again. And I did that with my first build with this pack. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna try to do kind of a pretty bold and contrasted combination. So I chose this like worn black wood and then the honey wood tones. And I loved, loved how it came out. I, I wanna hear your feedback because I think this color combination was super fun. And I didn't necessarily carry it through the entire upstairs as well in the studio apartment. It's primarily the exterior and the stables down here, but I thought it looked so nice. <laughs> I thought it looked beautiful. And as you can see, we've got the nectar making station. I ended up just putting like these stacked barrels of nectar right in the center. I think that the Sim or Sims that live here primarily run a business selling their own nectar. And then when they've got like the seating area outside, you can see that I did off camera. I feel like they have nectar tastings for their community or they have just a bunch of friends over and they'll they'll barbecue out, they'll drink a ton of nectar and just have a grand old time. I love the vibes. I love the thought of it. <laughs> I think it would be so much fun to live in a place like this. I also added just a few more decorations outside, like a few flower pots and some wall decorations. And there's a few different outside trash cans here because when your horses, um, use the bathroom, which is the world, the world is their bathroom. Uh, the piles of manure, they quite literally pile up. And um, yeah, having an outdoor trash can is a, <laughs> it's a good thing <laughs> that you need it, <laughs> unless you wanna keep it because you can keep horse manure. I think you can use it as a fertilizer. I'm not sure. In theory, like in, in real life, you probably could. I don't exactly know what you can use with the bags of manure that you can put in your Sims inventory. I'm gonna stop talking about horse poop, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. This is the upstairs. So this is going to be the studio apartment. This is what I realized I didn't have a ladder or a staircase. And I'm like, oh no, can I even do this? Am I gonna have to change the floor plan? But I ended up being able to place the ladder. Again, play tested it. Worked perfectly fine. My Sim was able to get up here, no problem. And then I just wanted this to be really, really cozy, but I wanted to try to maintain the darker color scheme to the best of my ability. It was a little bit difficult because there seems to be two maybe like two or three, I'll say quote unquote, sets of wood textures and tones with the items that came with this pack. And the ones for the countertops here and the cabinets don't necessarily match the flooring and the wallpaper that I use. They're, they're kind of like different tones, different textures and stuff. So it didn't really work for me, but I found a way to combine just different brown wood tones with the darker tones and the honey woods. And I love it. I don't think it clashes. I think it's really complimentary. I also matched the dining room chairs to the couch. That cow pattern, that cow print pattern, let me just say, I don't remember if I said this in my first speed bill with this pack. I didn't think that I liked cow print. I didn't. I used to live in Texas a very temporary period. I was there for a couple of years because my spouse was military. So we were in Texas and I saw cow print everywhere and I was just like, this just isn't my vibe. I don't like it very much. It's not really my thing. Then we got this pack and I like, I want to decorate my house with cow print. Like I want these chairs. <laughs> I want these chairs. I want that headboard. I want the couch. And yet at the same time, my aesthetic, the one that I really gravitate towards is like a coastal aesthetic. I'm from New England. It's, it's clearly ingrained in me. And that's kind of what I've got going on in my house. And yet I'm sitting here contemplating like, 
is there any way I can strip all of this back and um, start with some cow print? <laughs> Make it a little bit more rustic. Is that a <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to, but I really, really like it. You can see that the floor plan is all open. Again, studio apartment, aside from the bathroom, of course, which is sectioned off, but we've got this really nice, pretty decent sized kitchen with a big dining table. We've got three chairs here as well. And then it's open to the living room. We've got the three seater couch, the big, beautiful stone fireplace. We've got a double bed. We've got a space for a desk, which I end up putting there as well. And then even though there is a very small balcony um, towards the front of the build there, I didn't place anything on the balcony. Cause again, it's, it's just one tile. Is it wide? No, the width. I don't, mm, I don't remember. It's one tile by th th three tiles by one tile, one tile by three tiles, whatever. It's very small. And um, I don't really know what else you could put there. Maybe like a telescope or something. I don't know if you could put a chair there at an angle because of routing and stuff like that. But all in all, I loved how this came out. I cluttered up the kitchen ever so slightly. I didn't go too nuts with it, but I just wanted it to look lived in and really cozy. The layout of the bathroom actually like threw me for a loop too. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out. Um, also, I didn't even mention that in the backyard, if you will, there is the barrel, I'll say course, like the practice barrels that you can use with your horse because I haven't made a build yet where I could actually put horse objects like that. So if this couple or a single sim has got a couple of horses, they can do some barrel training out back, which I thought was nice. And that's pretty much all that's back there too. You could get rid of that and add whatever you'd like of course, you could do whatever you'd like if you download my bills, doesn't matter. But we are pretty much approaching the end of this build. I hope that you enjoyed this. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Thank you for dealing with another rambly voiceover because I'm overly excited about this pack. And I will catch you next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.